Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the recap of Explosive Pro Wrestling Evolution 2013. It was exactly 11 years to the day that the very first Evolution was held. And what an amazing night it was. You should have been there. If you weren't, you should really be kicking yourself. My name is Dean Olsen. Joining me is Jamie Jura. Jamie Jura, the host of Explosive Professional Wrestling. With me, my co-host, Dean Olsen. And tonight, we'll be recapping... EPW Evolution 2013, the 11th annual Evolution. Dean? You're my co-host. Anyway, uh, it started things off with a very interesting matchup. Two crazy characters of Explosive Pro Wrestling. We had one corner Twitch, and then the singles match debut of Koala Mask. What's your take on him? Koala Mask, is he a man? Is he a bear? All that we know is that he gets results. Koala Mask victorious over Twitch with a drop bear, a double stomp off the top rope, and he got the 1-2-3 goes to show that being a bear in professional wrestling, big advantage. Following that, we had a tag team matchup. It was the team of the real-life risky business, Leo Pratt, and the big rig, Scotty Run, team collectively known as the Dropkicks, up against your rising Star Cup champion, Hayden Zenith, and, of course, everyone's favourite from the local, Husey, joined by his coach, Adam Banks. A great tag team match by four of the hottest rising stars in explosive pro wrestling, Jamie. Great action. Any four of these young men... They're worthy candidates to be the protege of Jamie Jura. They could carry the Jura legacy into the future. As we all know, I am on the hunt for my protege. Someone to carry on my name in EPW. And this match had nothing to do with you, but we saw some great action. Husey having a few struggles with his battle against the booze as well. I gotta say, Coach Banks, what are you thinking? Getting Husey off the booze? Terrible, terrible strategy. Husey is most effective when he's drunk. But uh, Hayden Zenith was also very good in this matchup. But the team of the Dropkicks, uh, by no fault of Husey's battle with the Booze, they were amazing tonight. They had some great double team maneuvers. They uh, isolated their opponents on one side of the ring. I'm sure you're impressed being a former tag champion yourself. Very impressed. And they finished it all off with the double double D. A double drop kick off the top rope. You've got to be impressed with the double double D. Now, Evolution is always one of the biggest nights in the Explosive Pro Wrestling calendar. One of the biggest events of the year, and tonight we also saw another person make their singles match debut. And that man was the Warship. He went up against Troy. Great to see him back in the ring. He was very impressive in the Gold Rush Rumble last month, but didn't quite have that luck on his side here tonight. Didn't have anything on his side. Seven seconds. Seven seconds. That's all it took for Warship to absolutely destroy Troy. He came out of the darkness. The lights were still down. Charged into the ring and speared Troy like I've never seen anyone get speared before. Just turned him inside out. It was uh, it was a sight to be seen, that's for sure. You know, the Warship has been on the internet, on social media, bagging the hell out of EPW, everyone involved. And I think people have taken him a little bit lightly up to this point. Now he's here... He's wrestling, and everyone in that locker room really needs to take notice that the warship is not someone to be taken lightly. Well, he says change is coming, and we can't say we weren't warned. And then we were supposed to have a tag team title match between Dan Moore and Chase Griffin, the champions, defending against McMassive. Mad Mike Massive, the moving man mountain. That is easy to say. I don't know what your problem is. And Gavin, the shoot fighter McGavin. But unfortunately, we didn't get to see it. That's not what happened. We found out that Chase Griffin suffered a little mishap backstage. So we didn't get the tag title match. Instead, we got six-man tag team action. Kyle Steria, Jay Taylor, the Don Michael Morleone making up the entourage, going up against Dan Moore and Mick Massive. Well, from the get-go, the team of McMassive were not happy at all. They got themselves so prepared and trained so hard. Of course, McMassive Fitness, we can't forget. Uh, Dan and McMassive, they threw everything into this matchup, but of course, with William Darcy on the outside, you had Amber outside, as well as Lukey Boland. The odds were kind of stacked against him, and it was Carl Steria with his double underhook pile driver. Amazing variation of the Los Angeles Wings. Got the victory over Dan Moore. Then we had something that you don't see often in professional wrestling, an intergender matchup. It was gorgeous Gary Schmidt going up against his brother, Bruiser Barry Schmidt's girlfriend, Michelle K. Hasluck, and an impressive match as well. I know a lot of people think, oh, it's a guy beating up a girl. No, 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 no. Michelle K. Hasluck is a seasoned veteran in professional wrestling and she takes a back step to no one. We saw that first hand here today, Jamie. Amazing effort from Michelle, really taking it to gorgeous Gary, who quite frankly has been doing nothing but run his mouth for the past several months about how Bruiser Barry, his brother, was pinned by a girl, not once, but twice. And tonight, 
what did we see? We see Gorgeous Gary getting quite frankly pinned by a girl. Well, it was Bruiser Barry's involvement that helped get the win in the end as he exposed the steel turnbuckle while Michelle distracted the referee. Gorgeous Gary, his head smashed into that turnbuckle, allowed Michelle to get the victory. And then we had William Darcy come out to call out the smashing machine, Chris Weiss. Why would you call out Chris Weiss? Why Dean Olsen? What a terrible idea. His name is the smashing machine. Well, William Darcy shows that he's a man with a master plan. And what he said to Chris Weiss, he made a deal with Chris Weiss. He said, if you can win five matches in a row consecutively, I'll give you the EPW Championship title match that you want. But if you manage to lose any one of those five matchups, you are fired from EPW for good. And we saw the first of those five matches here tonight when Chris Weiss went up against the monster Dorian. Doran's a huge man, and I don't think the camera, or even seeing him at a show, can do him justice. You stand next to this guy, he towers over everyone. Massive, huge individual, which made it even more impressive when Chris Weiss was throwing him around like he was Tim McCloy. I think it's just a matter of time until Chris Weiss is your next EPW champion. Seeing what Chris Weiss did to Doran, I feel sorry for whoever's next. Then it was time for the main event of the evening. Now, over the years, Evolution, as I've said, one of the biggest shows of the year, has had some amazing main events that people remember for years. And I believe tonight we saw one of those main events. It was Mr. AK-47, Alex Kingston, finally getting a shot at the EPW Championship against the people's hero, Marcus Pitt. And I tell you what, matches like this are ones you'll never soon forget, Jamie Jura. What a match. What a match. Words do not describe this match in full justice. You had to be here at EPW Evolution to really experience this match as it was. Forget match of the year. This was one of the best matches I've ever seen in professional wrestling anywhere. Both of these men left it all in the ring. They gave everything they had to try to win that gold. And unfortunately for Alex Kingston, Marcus Pitt came away with the victory and still your EPW champion. On paper, it'll always read that at Evolution 2013, Marcus Pinn got the victory. But that in no way takes anything away from Alex Kingston. He threw everything he had in this matchup. A, a performance that uh, I think goes above and beyond the call of duty. Not just that, but Marcus Pitt put him through hell. I saw Alex Kingston tonight take more German suplexes than I've seen any man take ever. It was uh, just an outstanding matchup and both men should be very proud. It was the... Uh, the culmination of everything that should be an EPW Championship match and did the title the justice it richly deserves after William Darcy had done some terrible things to that title. You know, Evolution is the EPW event where legends are made. And tonight, Alex Kingston, he didn't come away with the gold, but he made his step into the EPW main event and becoming an EPW legend. He went through hell, dislocated his shoulder in this match not only once, but popped it back in and dislocated it again in the match and still kept wrestling. The entourage came out after this match and put a beating on the champ and the number one contender. Dan Moore tried to make the save, and as he was making the save on behalf of Marcus Pitt, the behemoth Sebastian Sandy came out and started beating on Dan Moore. The behemoth not only beat on Dan Moore, threw him out of the ring, he then took the champ, Marcus Pitt, and absolutely leveled him. Gorilla Press into a spine buster after a huge match, after a hellacious match, huge amounts of punishment, Marcus Pitt had to suffer insult from Sebastian Sander. Then uh, Sebastian Sander grabbed the microphone, called out William Darcy and said, hey, remember that favour you owe me? I'm calling it in. I want a shot at the EPW Championship. So then William Darcy has set the match, the main event for our next show on June the 8th at Cyril Jackson Rec Center, Body Slam Central. It's explosive pro wrestling, hell or high water. What we're going to see is a six-man tag team matchup. On one side, you'll have the team of Jay Taylor, Hollywood Kyle Steria, and the behemoth Sebastian Sander up against the EPW tag team champions, Chase Griffin and Dan Moore, and your EPW champion, Marcus Pitt. But it doesn't end there. If anyone from the team of Steria, Taylor, and Sander manages to get the pin over any opponent, they will then be the EPW champion. Terrible stipulations for the chance. Terrible stipulation for Marcus Pitt. Kyle Steria pins Dan Moore. Kyle Steria is the EPW champion. Jay Taylor pins Chase Griffin. Jay Taylor is the EPW champion. Sebastian Sander, he pins Marcus Pitt in not a singles match, but a six-man tag. He becomes the EPW champion. Nothing to gain for Pitt. Everything to lose.
and everything to gain for the entourage is that Darcy Regime is still reigning supreme on Explosive Pro Wrestling. So be there, June the 8th, Body Slam Central, Cyril Jackson Rec Center, it is going to be Explosive Pro Wrestling Hell or High Water 2013. And we want to see you there. I want to see you there. Well, of course I'll be there. Oh, okay. You going to be, be there? I, I probably should. I'm the host. I'm the host. No, you're my co-host. You're my co-host. We'll, we'll talk about that.